Welcome to I Lecture Online. Sometimes the deception is not intentional, it's accidental. Sometimes we just want to show additional information, but by doing so and not scaling things correctly or not ordering things correctly, we might get the wrong impression. For example, let's say the chart on the right shows you the number of deaths in a particular state by car accidents. And notice we've classified them according to the age of the driver. Notice the drivers are less than 18 years old. There are about 30 deaths of that category. Drivers between 18 and 19 or inclusive of 18 and 19, there were about 70 deaths. 20 year old drivers were about 40 deaths. Drivers from 21 to 24, there were almost 120 deaths. Drivers from 25 to 29, there were 140 deaths. Drivers from 30 to 39, there's about 190 deaths and so forth. So by looking at the chart to the right, immediately it seems that drivers between 30 and 39 are the ones that cause the greatest number of deaths. Now, of course, what doesn't is what is not indicated in this chart that it's deaths per number of drivers on the road. There may be far more drivers in this category than in the other categories, and therefore there's a higher death rate, but that's not necessarily the case. Just strictly by the death rate based on age alone, it does appear as if 30 to 39 year old drivers are the most dangerous on the road. But then notice there's a number of categories, three of them that represent drivers from 20 to 29. What if we lump all the drivers from 20 to 29 together and all the teenage drivers that are 18 below or 18 or 19 years old, let's go ahead and categorize those together. Let's see what the graph looks like now. When we take a look at this graph, all of a sudden you get a very different picture. The drivers age 20 to 29 cause way more traffic deaths than the other drivers in any other category. Now, the teenage drivers from 16 to 19 notice that only encompasses far fewer years and probably far fewer drivers. Not everybody that's 16 drives and therefore this represents a much smaller category of people. Perhaps if we put these side by side and we do it in terms of how many drivers are on the road, perhaps this category would be the highest of them all. We don't know that at this point because we don't have enough information, but if we strictly go by age, it certainly looks like drivers that are between 20 and 29 cause a lot more car fatalities than drivers between 30 and 39. And then if you take a look at these ages, you can see that the traffic deaths simply decreases as the age of the driver increases, probably because of more experience and more maturity and probably a little bit more of an attitude that let's just not go too fast, we'll get there eventually. You can see that far fewer people die when they're older in car accidents than when they're younger. Now the category of 16 over, it would appear that far fewer of drivers of that age causes accidents. That could be due because there's lower number of people of that age driving or simply when you get to be that age, you just simply take it nice and easy, go very slow and cause far fewer fatal accidents. Who knows? Again, notice that these graphs don't tell the entire picture, but you can see that depending upon how they're presented, how the data is presented, you can get a very different impression by your first look at the graph. And that's the important part. Notice the very same information categorized differently gives you a very different picture. Now, in defense, perhaps they wanted to give more information about those various categories. But you can see, since the width of the categories are non-uniform, it really is probably not a good way to do that. You probably want to do that in even widths of categories, maybe for these individuals first, or on a separate graph, and then do it like this on this graph, and then you get a much better feel, a much better idea, a much better recognition of what's really going on. So you can see it can be very deceptive depending upon how you categorize the data and that is how it's done.